guys, how you doing? It's Kia, and I wanted to come and talk to you today about the infamous curl kit. Yes, I finally got it. I got it last month. I know a lot of you know about the curl kit and know about the curl box. Unfortunately, I didn't get the curl box because it really didn't get a lot of good reviews, so I went with the curl kit. The curl kit is a subscription box. It's $20 a month, which includes your shipping and handling, which I thought was pretty cool, because basically when you go out and get your items, you spend about $30, maybe $50, maybe some people $100 for some of the products that you use, especially people who they call product junkies. So um, you pay on the first of the month and then your product ships out on the 15th. I got mine very quickly because they're in North Jersey and I'm in South Jersey. So let's get right into it. Um, everybody knows it has, or you may not know, has the beautiful tissue paper in there with the cute, cute little uh, squigglies in there. And then we have some postcards with some information and we have some business cards to some of the companies that are inside of the box. You also get this beautiful pamphlet which I really think is really nice. It gives you information. I believe the April box was their anniversary box and they've been doing this for two years so they're really excited. I'm really excited for them. It's nothing like being successful in a business that you started off all by yourself. So they also wanted to give information about their newborn baby. Congratulations. That was born in December. And then we go into the products and talk about um, a little bit more in detail about the different things that are in your box. Um, we talk about some hot topics in here, which is one was talking about um, how to, you know, battle dry hair. And then one was like trying to find the balance between uh, protein and moisturizing. So also on the back, it has um, information about products that you may have in your box that you want to shop for online on their online store. Cool. So let's get right into these products. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about this wonderful sample size of olive oil gel from Am. I mean, yeah, from Am Pro Pro Style. I don't know if y'all remember them. I remember them with that big dark gel. We used to use that back in the day, make your head hard as a rock, stop a bullet, which is good when you live in Camden. So. <laughs> <laughs> where I'm from so um, you know just a little joke but seriously this stuff is good I like their line I've always liked their line since I was a kid so um, I'm quite sure I'm going to enjoy this I think I'm going to use this for my next wash and go I haven't used it yet but I think this is a great sample size um, this I want to use probably on a day that I'm not going out because I don't know how good it's going to work I absolutely love eco styling gel um, I've used their olive oil and their argan oil. I use my olive oil for a little bit more of a hold, argan for a little bit of a softer hold, even though they say they're both equal and hold, but um, that's how I use them. This says that it's alcohol free and it has flexible hold, all that jazz. I'm not really going to read everything on here because basically you see what it looks like. You're going to go to your store. You're going to read it yourself. You're going to read it again. So, you know, why be redundant? So anyway, it's a nice cream. It smells great, and um, I'm going to try it maybe next week when I do a wash and go. But until then, I let my son use it. He hasn't said anything. I don't think he's used it because um, it was just sitting on his table, and when I opened it, it didn't look like he had used it. But I asked him today if he used it and if he liked it, um, and I'll let you guys know about that. Next, we got the Hot Texture or Hot Texture Sulfate-Free Shampoo with Tea Tree Oil and Peppermint. Now, let me tell you about this. I, first of all, am not a shampooer. I do co-poo. I shampoo my hair, I think, once in a blue moon. Um, and I use my Dollar Tree. Don't hate, I'm telling you, on the Dollar Tree. This uh, conditioner, and I forget what it's called. It's like daily something, but it has um, Moroccan and Argan oil. And I think maybe one or two people did a review on YouTube. And when I tell you that it'll give you the slip like nobody's business, I am not playing. And when it comes in, I buy all of them. I have 24 bottles and I am not sharing no more. I gave a couple to my girlfriends and that's it. But um, yeah, I absolutely love it. So I don't really shampoo. So this was kind of a new thing for me to try. So I, um, you know, I did it last week. My hair felt stripped, even though it says that it, you know, has all free of the parabens and mineral and the sulfate and all that jazz. Um, <clears throat> my hair felt really dry when I got done, and I didn't really like it. And it was, as my hair is getting longer, it took forever for the shampoo to finally rinse out. That bugged the mess out of me. Um, but the um, one thing that I did like was the peppermint, because of course, you know, when you rub peppermint on your scalp, it makes it feel like pure heaven. So that was the only good thing. Am I saying this is a bad product? No, it's just not good for me. So I'll probably give this to somebody at my church who, you know, would want it because it's just going to sit in my drawer and collect dust. Um, next we have, I don't know how to pronounce this. Is it Obaya? Obaya? 
uh, Natural Hair Care Curl Hydration Spray. I don't really use hydration sprays. My regimen is I get up in the morning, I am a stretch fanatic. I was just telling my girlfriend, I stretch my hair, I put a good oil in there in my scalp and on my ends. I've been using the Jane Carter uh, something and shine. I use that. That thing is the business. My hair is just feeling soft and silky all the time. I absolutely love that product. But I do that in the morning, in the afternoon, about 3 o'clock, when I'm getting ready, maybe go get my son or just go upstairs for something. I'll go in and do it in my hair, put some more in my hair, go throughout the day, and then before I go to bed at night, I'll put some more oil in there. And um, that's basically what I do. But I tried this the other day. <clears throat> excuse me and you know it worked pretty good I did it before I went to bed and it was, it was a pretty good product so I will probably uh, continue to use this but will I go out and buy another bottle probably not not saying again that it's not a bad product <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> allergy season <clears throat> not saying that's a bad product it's just not a product for me now this right here as you can see has been the business for me. It is uh, Alake Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In Conditioner. Every time I do a wash and go, I added this to my regimen, and when I go to wash my hair the next time, as soon as I put my head under the sink, my hair feels so daggone soft, and I really believe it's because of this, because my hair didn't feel like that until I added it to it. So I really do like it, and the smell will drive you over the moon. It's really, really nice, um, and I am going to go to the website and purchase some more of this. This will be one of the items that I definitely purchased as well as this right here. The only thing I hate about this, can we get a better packaging? You are curly. Can we do that? Can you do that for me, little old me? Because when I open it, you have to be so careful as to how you hold it until you get a container. I don't have a small container right now. So yeah, that's my fault. But I mean, supply me with one. But I really like this product. It smells great. I don't know if it's doing anything for my hair. I just like it because of the smell of it all. You understand? It's free of alcohol, paraben, and sulfate. You know, all the jazz that is supposed to be free of that all these naturals really love. Um, and it's enriched with coffee oil, coconut oil, and vitamin E. Um, I love putting this on my hair when I'm going somewhere because I like to like go like that. And then you go, I smell coffee in the air. It smells so good. It smells like hot cocoa, like coffee, like it just, it smells delicious. I, like I said, I don't even know if it's doing anything for my hair. I just like the smell of it dog on it. So that, and then there was one more product that was in here that I absolutely did not like. And I'm just going to be truthful with you. It is the Argon Oil Hair Treatment. It's supposed to bring life back into your locks and um, strengthen and restore moisture your hair and smooths dry damaged hair. It made my hair feel like a daggone Brillo pad. I didn't like it at all. Now maybe I didn't do it correctly. Maybe I didn't leave it in long enough. It may be my fault, but I'm just telling you, I did not like that product. So um, yeah, other than that, the box was good. I think it was worth $20. It was worth $20 for me to figure out, you know, maybe there's some things that, you know, I might want to add to my regimen, which is definitely this, and we're going to see about this. Let me know, because I've seen some people do reviews, and I didn't really watch them, like, you know how you see all the different videos. I want to know if um, anybody's tried this, and if they really do like it or not. Um, but, yeah, and I haven't seen it, out, you know, I have a Rite Aid right down the street, and I haven't seen it in there. Um, so I would like to know if it's worth me like trying to go all over the world to find it Like I said because I do like the ego styling gels. So, um, that's basically what comes in the curl kit I can't wait for this month because she said It's gonna be four full products and it's gonna be so big So I can't wait to see what's gonna be in this month And then I think I might stop not because I don't like the box It's only because I already have products that work for me and um, I'm thinking that I'm gonna stick with those So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed it Bye-bye.